Unit 2 Introduction to SAP Fiori Element Apart from SAP Fiori User Experience Design Guideline, SAP also provide Fiori Element as smart template to build SAP Fiori apps. The motivation for the Fiori Element Firstly, to assure consistent user experience across different business process under the same template. Secondly, rapid development for SAP Fiori app with the same template to reuse the template. Thirdly, is maintenance based on the same template. There are several examples of SAP Fiori elements such as overview page, list report, object page. There are two approaches to develop SAP Fiori app. You can build freestyle SAP Fiori app by following SAP Fiori user experience design guidelines, such as the interaction pattern, the navigation pattern in the UI design guidelines. And you got to build line by line for that. And you need to take care about the maintenance as well as the support. And in this case, you gain the flexibility of theory application development. Or either you can reuse SAP theory element to build your theory app, which you having less coding, more efficient development and which will assure the code quality with the same template as well as the user experience consistency. Now let's have some examples for theory elements. Overview page will give you an overview of information in one single page with a card. The list report would allow you to filter the data and show you it as a list of records. Object page would give you detailed information about an object record. SAP Fiori overview page actually is a data-driven Fiori app. It provides the overview information uh, to, a sing, uh, to, a, to the user with a single page. And then the overview page is organized by card. So you could be having some analytical, uh, some chart or some table or some list, uh, list card. So here was the example for the overview page. In the header, you are having a smart Filter, and then which the end user can customize what to be filter, and you also can have, as you can see, several kind of a cards, stack cards with the number collection of a number, or you can have a table card, and with the multiple column, or you can have an analytical card, uh, which you can have line chart, bubble chart inside it. Or you can have a list card to list, have a list of uh, records. And here example for the list report. Similarly, you will have the smart filter bar uh, to filter the, the list report. And in the table, you will have, you have named, and in this case, it's name. Uh, you have the status column. Uh, you have a numeric as well as a measurement column. In this case, is credit limit and the measurements as currency. And here you have example for the object page. Uh, this is the object page for the account. And in the header, you will have in the Overview information about the header, such as the uh, contact number, uh, fax, email, address, and contact person. 
And in the second session, you have a cut, and you have a line chart for the every for average return rate, and a column chart for the revenue chart. And in the third session, you have account team for this account. And the below is the uh, material for if you would like to learn more about the SAP Fiori user experience and SAP Fiori elements, such as Fiori application reference, which you can have a library for the Fiori, old Fiori app for your experience, and all Fiori design guideline, and also for the uh, enablement for the SAP Web ID for developer. That's the conclusion for the unit 2.